All right, here is a video on how to get reCAPTCHA or CAPTCHA uh, to work with Gravity Forms. Um, by default, we do have a place to go and go to settings and go to reCAPTCHA. Um, the problem with this is is that uh, they have this nice and uh, bolded here. Uh, it says um, only version two keys are supported, um, which is um, true um, in the aspect of yes the default uh, gravity forms only allows version 2 but we want to use version 3 because version 3 is better and I'll probably try to explain that but the way you do this um, is go to the add-ons and I have a license um, and all my clients have you know get to use that license um, where you have all of these add-ons uh, included uh, for free, uh, air quotes there. Um, but what we want to do is make sure that the reCAPTCHA um, add-on is active because that allows version uh, version three. So if I hit install and then hit activate plugin, um, actually I'll go ahead and just upgrade Gravity Forms real quick. That will take two seconds. Um, but the cool thing is is that now we have the reCAPTCHA add-on that supports version 3. So make sure that this, if you go to plugins and you list your plugins, you have the add-on here. And now it'll look a little different here when we go to settings. And okay, uh, so now if we go to reCAPTCHA, notice that we have a separation here, version 3 and version 2, and we want to activate version 3. So I'm just going to walk you through creating those keys. So I just go to uh, Google and type in things like, I don't know, um, Google uh, reCAPTCHA v3. Takes us here. And now, um, this link in Google is actually broken, um, <laughs> which is obnoxious. Uh, give me one second. I always have to find this. It's never intuitive. Because I can't get to version 3. If I get, click here. Let's see, um, I want to use version 3, but I can't, if I click on that, you know what, I think that's probably just a shortener issue. So if I go to google.com slash recapture v3, that doesn't work. Aha, this is where we need to be. Okay, so um, open a new tab and go to google.com slash recapture probably slash about um, and then this will bring up the um, version 3 admin console and I'm gonna have some stuff here like um, I have this set up here but we just need to hit a new one um, so for you who is just now setting this up you're gonna hit uh, create and we're gonna call this to be honest, I'm going to delete these keys afterwards, and this is only going to work on test.local. That's where I'm. That's what I'm working on right now. If you see test.local, um, for you guys that are doing this, uh, if you're my client, you know, go to um, you'll you'll label this something like your company name.com or your website. Um, I'm just calling this test.local. We want to select version three, then we want to add um, so. You know, Aaron Ryman, you know, if this is, let's say we're setting this up for AaronRyman.com. So this would be Aaron Ryman. Um, and then we want to put the domain in here, AaronRyman.com. And then we want to hit plus www.AaronRyman.com. But um, for this case or for you, uh, put in your company's domain and then the www. For me, I'm just doing test.local.
Oh. So make sure you have the www dot whatever your domain is in the non www. That's just in case um, we want the API keys to work on a www version of the site and a non www version. Uh, we want to put in our email address in here. We accept all the terms that we read, um, and now we just hit submit, and it's going to give us two two keys. Okay. Um, if we go over here to Gravity Forms, it's basically asking for the exact same thing. So we just go here to copy site key and paste, and then copy the secret key and then paste. And then, of course, we have to accept that, um, that you have added the recapture branding terms and services and policy a privacy policy to the site, which of course I did, because I always do that. Um, wink. Um, and then hit settings and you're done. And basically, now when we build a form, it's going to run some JavaScript. Um, but let me tell you that you don't need the um, you don't need the uh, module. Let me let me explain. Um, I'm just checking a couple things right here. No conflict mode. All that looks good. All right. Um, so let's go here to forms. Um, test or contact me. Pretty much the hard part's done. Um, you know, if you don't have a form and you need to test this and you're just watching this on YouTube, you need to be able to test this. Um, so I'll just put in... Uh, let's say name, email, and just so you know, the reCAPTCHA module that you see right here is not needed if you're using version 3. So I'm going to go and drag it over here, um, but this is for um, only for uh, version 2. It's not that clear, but that's the case. So I'm going to remove that. But now my form should work. I hit submit, or I, I'm sorry, hit save, and now I've got a form. Um, and basically, I need to go and display that, put that on a page. So I'll create a new page. And really, the rest of this video is just showing someone how to put it in there. Um, contact. Now we do module. Oh, sh search for gravity, add that, select the form, and pretty much you're done. But we can go view this now. Let's see. View page. So there we go. And again, the recapture isn't, you're, you don't see the I'm a robot, um, you know, and you check that with Recapture version 3, it runs JavaScript in the background that detects to make sure that you're not a bot. So, just trying to make that super clear that you don't need the recapture uh, module to show up here. Um, it's, it's running in the background. I hope that helps. Thanks.